Good evening. Welcome to Expat in Science. I'm your host, Raju Mandhian. Today at Expat in Science, we have a guest from a very special country, a very far off country, and not many people are conversant with the nuances of this country, the beautiful Chile. And our guest tonight is His Excel Excellency Roberto Majorga. Majorga. So, bienvenidos, buenas noches. Welcome to Expat in Science, sir. And this is a show which highlights uh, all the goods that foreigners do in this country. So welcome. Good evening, Rayo. Thank you for this invitation. Good evening to all the people looking and watching this program. Eh? Sir, uh, so how, uh, first tell us a bit about yourself before we go into the beauty of Chile. When and how did you come to Chile? How long have you been an ambassador in this country? Rayo, before I answer your question, let me allow. Yeah to congratulate Filipina for the anniversary of Dr. Jose Rizal today. Which is to today? Uh, today. Yeah, June so 19th. I yeah. feel honored to be interviewed just in the day of the 150th anniversary of Rizal, yeah. who I admire a lot. I uh, think the whole world admires You know, it. Raju, uh, uh, I had occasion uh, 30 years ago when I was very young to study also in Heidelberg, where Germany. Dr. Rizal, Germany, yeah. where Dr. Rizal uh, uh, was. He studied in the last in century. In yeah. the last century. Yeah. And after, uh, from this time, I, at Maya, I had the occasion to know about Rizal. Because yeah? of, you because went to the same university. The same oh. university, and yeah. I admire, admire him. And congratulations to the people of Filipinas for having such a hero like Rizal. Yeah. Wow, wow. The Ultima Dios, who. Uh, the uh, book, the, that the, the, the Ultima Dios, the poem. Yeah. Uh, the Ultima Dios, uh, be, uh, the, 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 which he gave to his mother and mm -hmm. his um, um, uh, sister. Yes, sir. One day before the execution, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. poem, written in Spanish, in perfect Spanish. Wow, have you, have really, you read Yes, yeah. really, I have it. Yeah. It's wonderful. Wow. And I would tell to you and. The, the people here that I sent an article to Chile that was published also in the newspaper today, Sunday, in Chile, yeah. regarding the anniversary of Rizal, yeah. with some uh, uh, excerpts of this Ultimo Adios. Ultimo Adios. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you so brought... So, congratulations to Filipinas for the anniversary of Rizal. Congratulations. In fact, we are all Filipinos, so yes. congratulations to us. Uh, I'm glad you brought this up. In fact, it's a very um, emotional subject with all Filipinos because they all respect and love Rizal. Uh, my question, no, you are aware and conversant of Rizal and uh, because you went to Heidelberg and because you now are in the Philippines. What is the impression of Jose Rizal in other Latin American countries besides yours? Are they aware of him, aware of what he did and how great a man he was? Of course, you know, Rizal represents an example not only for Filipinas, but for the whole world. Mm -hmm. Because he was able to give his life for his ideas in a peaceful way. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. he on, never he used the violence, the force, only the, the force of his pen, of his, pen, yeah. of his thoughts, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, written. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so as, as an example, eh? mm -hmm. not only in Filipinas, but in the whole world, and especially mm -hmm. in Latin America, you know, because we were also colonies of from Spain. Spain, yeah, we share years ago. we share this same history with you mm -hmm. here in the Filipinas, mm -hmm. yeah, and we understand completely how was uh, our countries under the Spanish colony, yes. yeah? yeah. So we are we have the feeling of being identified with Rizal. You identify with Absolutely. the feeling and the idea. Absolutely. Huh? Amazing mm -hmm. thing is he did this all and he was less than 40 years old. 30, uh, 33. 36. 36. 36. 35, 36 years. Mm -hmm. Very, very young. Very young. Mm -hmm. huh? So he, he, he did this in a peaceful way even before Gandhi, even before Martin before, Luther King, before way before them. That no? is an example. It's an a example. shining example. Yes. And I hope that more people in the world can't know about Rizal. Look into the life yes. of Rizal. Rizal. Hmm? Fantastic. 
Well, coming to your question. Coming to my question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that's but okay. I, I mean, this, this is... I wanted to start with this uh, I am glad honor, you, I am honor very, to I'm very glad yes, you did. Yes, I'm very glad uh, you did. And I'm sure especially I this day. Mm -hmm. I'm very glad you did. And I'm very sure the viewers appreciate this. And so do I. In fact, I thank you for bringing this up. And in, if there's a chance that we can uh, align our discussions and uh, anything that can relate to Jose Rizal's ideals and strengths, it'll be all right. It'll be a welcome thing to do. Okay, so your, your visit to Philippines and how and what brought... Uh, no, of course, we know what brought you here, but when did you come here and what was your first impression of this country, sir? Well, a little bit about yourself. Yes, sure. Uh, you know, that is my first post as ambassador. Mm -hmm. Although I worked in the last years uh, in international affairs as mm -hmm. attorney, uh, advising these uh, foreign companies on doing business in Chile. Right. I was the chairman in Chile of a committee, mm -hmm. public and private committee yeah. of foreign investments. And my activity was to visit Chilean embassies around the world. Mm -hmm. I had the occasion to visit around 50 countries. Yeah. yeah. But no Filipinas. <coughs> no Filipinas. You did not no. do Philippines in yes, those days. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes the new president of Chile, mm -hmm. uh, who took office in, this, in the March. The current president the current, or the previous? No, the current president, President this Piñera. This is Mr. Piñera. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sebastián Piñera yeah. took office in March. 2010? He, yes, last year. Last year yeah. And he invited me to be ambassador in Philippines. I was very happy. Yeah. And I came here uh, uh, the last week of July. I presented my credential in, in, in front of President Aquino in the first week of August. Hmm? Oh, so the moment President Aquino took over office, you were one of the first ambassadors? One of the first. One of the first. Oh. I think uh, w with the ambassador of Switzerland and Cambodia, we were mm -hmm. the first ambassador in front of the President Aquino. Yeah? Mm -hmm. the, the three together. Eh? Hmm? So, sir, uh, you had, though you had uh, experience in bringing in investors to, Philipp uh, to, um, to Chile, Chile. Mm -hmm. and also being a sort of an ambassador to guests in Chile, you had no diplomatic experience before. This is your first diplomatic exposure. Well, in some way I had, because the work I did before was mm -hmm. always in contact with the Chilean embassies around the world. Oh, okay, okay. You know? yeah. Together with the ambassadors, I visited the embassies of Chile and invited mm -hmm. companies. Mm -hmm. So I was always in contact with the diplomatic work, huh? yeah. diplomat work. Huh? Sir, and my first impression of Filipina, yes, and not the first, and the current impression, that oh. is a wonderful country. Huh? Wonderful country. Can you, can you describe yes. uh, the wonders of it? What makes it wonderful? For me, it's very different, the, the geography, the landscape to Chile, because Chile mm. is I am going to explain later on ah, about Chile. Yeah, yeah? sure, sure. Yeah. But here is uh, is more warm. Mm -hmm. yeah? Plenty of surrounded always by beaches, uh, mm -hmm. sea, mm -hmm. very attractive. Yes, sir. And what is very impressive for me is how the people, the friendship of the people. Mm -hmm. yeah? I have visited more than 50 countries in the world. Huh? You very have some, nice, yeah. beautiful countries. Very nice. Right. Okay. But the most friendly people in the world I have. Met are here in the Philippines. Always have time to talk with you, to listen what mm -hmm. you are telling. Huh? Yeah. Uh, people has a sense, a feeling of so solidarity, mm -hmm. fraternity. Yes, sir. I'm not working only in the diplomatic um, context. Mm. Uh, I am working also in social activities. You know why? Because here there is a Chilean priest in Kalogan. Kalokan. Kalokan, Kalokan City. Kalokan. Kalokan. There's very, only one Chile. Very, one? Well, uh, two, two priests. Yeah. One of Chile, one of Argentina, yeah. and one of Filipinos. Yeah. Very, pe very poor um, neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I visit frequently the father. Uh, we walk around the neighborhood, yeah. Barangay. The yeah. barangay. Yeah. People are so friendly. Yeah? Children so, so friendly. So supportive, so giving, so, so warm. Huh? In comparison with another countries, it's not possible to be to visit this uh, this such neighbor uh, yeah. barangays and be respected because they're very violent people, criminality is high in other countries. Yeah, it's very difficult. Here you have a, a feeling of, of to be sec secure, huh? to, mm, to be how you do you say to be sure, huh? 
to be sir, safe. To be safe. Yes. Yeah. Sir, sir, we a friendly. Sir, uh, let's take security. a little break. Let's take a little break. Yeah, I don't want to. Whenever you want. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's take a little break. Then we'll come back and talk to you about Chile. Yeah. Okay. Give us a little more details about what Chile is and what's the beauty and the charm of. Of course. Chile, all right. Sure. So let's, let's take that break and we'll come back and talk to His Excellency Roberto Mallorca about Ch of Chile. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few minutes we will be landing at Chile's International Airport. Please your I came here on business once before. I'm here for work. I'm pleasure. <laughs> We heard that uh, Chile is... Uh... Good evening. Welcome back to Expert Insights. We are still talking to His Excellency Roberto Mallorca of Chile. And he told us about Rizal and Philippines a while ago. And let's now talk to him about Chile. So can you give us a profile of what Chile, how beautiful Chile is, uh, how beautiful Chile is and why? Well, you know, Chile, I think, is, is a very special country because mm -hmm. it's very diverse. Okay. It's a very long country mm. from the north to yeah. the south. Yeah. More than 4,000 kilometers. Yeah. So a very kind of different, very different kind of landscape. Cultures, landscapes and cultures. And cultures yeah. and landscape. Yeah. But the same language, huh? Yeah. The same language, Spanish. Spanish, okay. And some communities uh, speak also native language, but small communities. But the official language is Spanish. Mm -hmm. In the north, yeah. desert, mm -hmm. desert. Yeah, hot. The yeah. driest desert in the world. Yeah. The Atacama. 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 Yeah, Atacama. Okay. Atacama where um, are located the largest copper minings of the world. Mm -hmm. By the way, I know that here you in Philippines have copper reserves, and very gold, important, yeah. and Chilean companies are looking for uh, partnerships, yeah. for to be partnership here. Mm -hmm. um, and also because it's the driest, you know, it's very inter interesting, the sky are very clear, mm -hmm. no clouds. Mm. That what the main uh, observa astronomic observatory of the world are there. Look oh, in the they, stars they, what every city day. are they in? Well, no, no, no city, no city. Oh, okay. Complete in the desert. Oh, they are in Complete the, in the desert. 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 Oh. That's very good because not light in the night. Right, right, right. Close to the astronomical observatories. No lights. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very dark. Mm -hmm. You go there, it's impressive. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You, very dark. And thousand, thousand of stars in the night. Mm. It's incredible, beautiful. Yeah? Mm -hmm. No clouds. Huh? So what, mm? what can, uh, number one, what we're looking for here is, what are the relationships between, how is the relationship between Philippines and Chile in terms of trade and society? What, are, what is being exchanged or what can be mutually beneficial to us between Chile and Philippines? You know, although we share the same history, the same culture, the same traditions, yeah. and although Chile set up the first consulate here in Manila, in Binondo, the first consulate. First, one of the first consulate of Latin America was set up for Chile in 1856. Way before 1856. Brazil, Argentina, Bolivia. Yes, yeah. the first. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chile, together with Brazil and Argentina, mm. uh, attended the independence uh, announcement of Filipinas in 1946, mm -hmm. July 4. Mm -hmm. yeah, three yeah. countries, yeah. Uh, and we haven't had an strength we haven't had relationships. Much exchange. M much exchange. We think, I think that we need and we are open and available and all is uh, open to strengthen these relationships. What, what, you know? what hmm? can be the, what hmm? could have been the cause? For instance, we share, we, we, we have international trades. We export from Chile to Philippines copper, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, wine. Mm -hmm. Chilean wine is our best yeah. ambassador, not <laughs> only in in Philippines around the world. the world. He's yeah. an ambassador. Mm -hmm. right? Every 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 everyone has sometimes tried Chilean wine. Mm -hmm. If not, I invite you. Huh? You are watching this September 18 in yes, the University to, of Asia Pacific to, to try Chilean wine. Okay. Huh? Very nice. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, and now my question, Senor, is that what were the reasons for lack of social and business exchange in the past. Is it just the distance or was it more than the I distance? I think that is the distance. Just the distance. Just the distance. Just the distance. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes because our countries until some year had a closed economy. 
-hmm. Chile opened the economy 30 years ago. Very mm -hmm. open. And mm -hmm. now companies one of the of around of the world are in Chile. Mm -hmm. And I think that now, because Filipina is opening also the economy, right. yeah. are going to be easy mm -hmm. to uh, strengthen the mm -hmm. relationships. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, companies in the mining activity in Chile are looking for um, opportunities, opportunities here in Filipinas. Mm -hmm. And conversely, mm -hmm. the first I Philippine investments are uh, starting now in Chile. Mm -hmm. It's EDC, yeah. Energy Developed uh, Corporation, mm -hmm. in the geothermal energy. Mm -hmm. We are inviting EDC to do investment in Chile in geothermal. EDC is a Filipino company. Filipino company. You're inviting them to from Chile. From the Lopez Group. From the Lopez You're group. inviting them to Chile because Chile has so many volcanoes. Plenty of volcanoes. Yeah. Plenty of the potential of geothermal energy, mm -hmm. and we, do, we don't produce nothing. You Never don't tap nothing, into the geothermal. Yeah. Nevertheless, you here in the Philippines are producing geothermal energy yeah. in the last 35 years with a so very important experience. So uh, that's a huge potential for huge. Filipino come. Lopez Group is going, so there's a lot more we opportunity. We are invited then, and we are willing that they can do good Bring the business, technology to the them. technology and all the experience they have there. Huh? Now, uh, how easy is it to do business in Chile? Very easy. For, for corporations and even for individuals. Very well. easy. Yeah. Well, that was one of the goals that yeah. Chile took uh, 30 years ago to open yeah. the economy yeah. and to invite yeah. with all kinds of facilities, yeah. very low taxes, yeah. very low taxes. Very easy. Seventeen percent, I understand, corporate taxes. Uh, yes, seventeen percent. Corporate yeah. taxes. And, and no double taxation. And, double, uh, yeah. and we have uh, signed also a double taxation agreements, mm -hmm. mm, treaties, no double with, uh, different countries to avoid double taxation. Can, you, avoid can you explain mm. that to uh, the viewers? What does it mean? What is a double taxation? And when you uh, do away with double taxation, what does it mean to a business sure. for a small industry? Can double you, taxation yeah? means yes, that sir. when you have a business, for instance, in Chile, yeah. you pay Tax, the Chilean 17. tax, yeah. But when you repatri remit your profits to Europe, to your, your state, home country, Japan, yeah. you pay also tax in this country. All Again, right, all right. double. Like Americans, so Americans yes, pay, twice, pay yeah. in Chile and you pay in Europe. Mm -hmm. With the double taxation treatment, uh, mm -hmm. to avoid double taxation, you pay only in one country. Mm. Uh, so and perhaps mm. if the tax in Japan is yeah. higher than 17, yeah. you don't pay all the tax in Japan, only the difference. Oh, so proportionately. Proportionate, right? proportionately. Let's say that in Japan, mm -hmm. let's say uh, as mm -hmm. an example only, mm -hmm. the, 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 the tax is 25. Yeah, 25, 25. Uh, you don't pay 25 in you Japan. Pay eight. You pay 17 eight. plus 8. Yes, that is how about, how mm -hmm. about business ownership, property ownership, and uh, Becoming an immigrant in Chile, what are the procedures, what are the pros and cons? Uh, Let's go first with business ownership. Well, uh, you know, uh, people who are doing business in Chile uh, yeah. have automatically visa to work there, no problem. What's yeah. the minimum investment? No minimum. Just come and start Just a business? No, yeah. no minimum. Well, $10,000. Right, right. $10,000. Uh, and we have in Chile uh, what we name foreign investment contracts. Mm -hmm. the, the company signed a contract, not with the government, with mm -hmm. the state, with the commitment that the property, the profits are going to be respected. Yeah? Uh, Respect. So. Uh, mm? You have the security. It's as like an insurance that property, profits yeah. of foreign companies will be respected. Or reinvested back. Yes. Reinvested or you can every time yeah. remit your capital and your profits or benefits to your country. You, you mentioned you make a contract with the state and the government. With the what state. Is, no, I what mean. is the difference? When you, when you say what difference the is difference that? is that you are contracting uh, beyond changes of government. Oh, okay. So it's not the Aquino, not the yes, no. uh, Macapagal. It's, no, it's with and the not President it's, Piñera. It's like it's Chile. the central bank of... The commitment of Chile. Oh, country. all right, all right. So, so if laws change, if policies change, you still hold on to your contract for all for the time ago. in the future. How about uh, professionals who want to go, not put up a business, but go get employed? You think lifestyles or uh, earning capacity compared to Philippines? What are the differences? 
as are open also. Yeah. yeah open. Mm -hmm. A lot of people from different countries uh, are working in Chile. Yeah. Executive people. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the director of foreign companies are allowed to be foreigners. Mm -hmm. Only regarding workers, we have we have some protection for Chilean people mm -hmm. because at least. 50% uh, of the workers of the, the employees. company, the employees, must be Chilean people. Only 50? 50. Only 50%? Yes, yes. But executive, 100% can, 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 can be Can be foreign nationals. Foreign, foreign. Uh, mm -hmm. In terms of infrastructure, safety, banking, cost of money, uh, how, what are the... Well, you know, uh, we have changed the infrastructure in the last 20 years because we have the system of concessions. Mm -hmm. concessions. What does that mean, sir? Concessions means that, for instance, highway mm -hmm. are not going to be built by the government, by private companies, mm -hmm. and they uh, get the oh, like PPP collect, here, Philippines collect, like they collect. Okay, uh, so private ownership. So Chile is now plenty of highways, oh, ports, oh. Uh, airports. Uh, so in utilities in like water and uh, electric all, power all is electric, also private? All private, and they collect. Uh, Mm -hmm. the tariff, uh, you know, mm -hmm. so we can, we could mm -hmm. um, overcome the problem of infrastructure with this concessions program. Mm, uh? It's PPP, that's what, yes, uh, this PPP is it, it, it used to be called PPP, build, operate yeah. and transport before, okay. or build, operate and transfer before. Yes. yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Sir, now you brought us some pictures and you also have brought us the, the Chilean, Chilean flag. flag, no? Chilean I'll flag. ask the camera person to put up the pictures that you have brought us to show the visuals oh, of Chile. Happy. But in the meanwhile, do you want to explain the beauty behind this flag of your Well, country? it's very simple. You know, the, the, same, the, red, same color, blue, the, the same color as the Filipino, Filipino flag. Filipino, red, you know? blue and white. Well, There's no yellow. <laughs> no yellow. No yeah. yellow. Now, the white is the snow because we are plenty of snow. Yeah. Oh, that's snow, not the, peace. The blue, mm, yeah. the blue is the, 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 the sky. This uh, sky at uh, the sky. Atacama blue, Desert, yeah, yeah. Very uh, blue sky. The, rod, the red is the, the blood. Uh, the sangre, dugo, dugo. The sangre, 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 the blood. Uh, yeah, dugo in Tagalog. Dugo, uh, dugo in yeah. of the, to, to, to be independent oh, uh, you know, okay. of our, our heroes. Revolutions. Like our yeah. results, you know. Yeah. And that is a symbol of unity. One star the for star? all the countries. Oh, okay. Unity. Okay. Because although very long, mm -hmm. very far away from one eh, mm -hmm. place to other place, yeah. eh, unity. Yeah. Eh? Okay, pictures are coming up as soon as they come up. Sir, uh, who were the heroes? Can you name a he national hero of Chile? Uh, look there, look there. Oh, they, okay. Look, okay. Do you know, the, the Chile is in South America, you right. can see. Yeah. You can see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it's across the Pacific. Yeah. We can't link Chile with Filipinas. So we say it in the future. Yeah. I hope we are going to have direct fly yeah. from Chile to, to Filipinas. And we don't have one no, yet. No, we don't have now, mm -hmm. uh, in the future, you know. Mm -hmm. And also, we yeah. think that the main port in the future could be here in Asia, uh, like now Singapore or Hong Kong, Cebu. Look here. You think See? Cebu has Because all, yeah. all the ships coming from Latin America, yeah. uh, the first port are in Philippines. Mm -hmm. And for Philippines, Cebu, you can distribute all the, uh, yeah. the, the, the merchandise uh, to yeah. the other countries of Asia. So Cebu port has more potential. Yes, potential. These are certain numbers yes, you brought. Yes, okay. some, some figures. Yeah, yes. inflation very low. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, GDP is high. Yeah, mm -hmm. is the per capita is around uh, fourteen thousand. Yeah, yeah. The, the and, uh, per capita income per capita, is fourteen thousand dollars per annum. We hope yeah. to reach twenty thousand six year. Mm -hmm. And that uh, is a signal that we are overcoming poverty. Poverty now is not more than 8%. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is a, a picture of one of the main uh, copper mines in the desert, Atacama yeah. in the north. Yeah. Uh, Chile is the first exporter of copper in the world. Uh. Right, right. Another mine, yeah, because are public mines and private mines. Mm -hmm. And the main, the, the best salaries in the country uh, are in the mining activities. Uh? So, so an average uh, worker makes anywhere from ten to twenty thousand dollars per annum in Chile. Yes. And the cost of living is, is there, is he able to put aside money and buy a home in a couple of years? It's a little higher than here in yeah. Filipinas, but salaries are much, much, higher. much higher. Okay. You know, this picture is 
to remind the rescue of the miners. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The 33 miners trapped uh, se uh, 700 uh, meters below. Uh, yes, below the, the right. underground. Yeah, yeah. Last year. And mm -hmm. I take advantage to, um, say to to express my gratitude to Filipinas for the solidarity that we when got here in the you. embassy last year. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, we will ask you about these things. Uh, we'll come to a break and we'll ask you about what Chile is doing about these calamities that happened in Chile and that okay. might happen again. Yes. But right after that, so did you have any more pictures coming up? Did you have pictures of I the city know. of Santiago? Perhaps. I, yeah. Well, that's uh, the astronomic observatory that I mentioned some minutes before. Coquimbo. Look, look the, how blue is the sky. How blue. No clouds. No clouds. That was... Uh, observatory from Japan, Europe, Canada, United States, oh, so every all kind, and they are, and they are observatories are not Chilean, are with Chilean partnership, yeah? Yeah. Some, some beaches, you know, the but to, to be honest, playas, playas yeah. not so beautiful like the, you are beaches, no Boracay, no Boracay, <laughs> no Boracay. You know, Boracay is unique, you have unique beaches on the world, oh. but we have snow, look, we yeah. don't have that. You don't have snow. <laughs> I invite you because you can enjoy also snow. Look the sea. Well, is it? Uh, is it look the sky, very yeah. blue. Yeah. yeah. The contrast, blue yeah. and white. You know. Yeah. Blue and white, like like the, the flag. Like the flag. Like okay. the flag. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Sir, so this is one of the rare countries where you can be on the beach and go to the snow at the yes. same time. So yes, you can sir. do uh, skiing in and the morning. surfing. You can surf in the morning in the beach and, and go ski in the afternoon on the mountain. Or conversely, I could say you go to skiing in the morning. Yeah, in, okay. In the, in the morning. Yeah. And in the afternoon, you can share in the beach a very nice chin and white. You, you, because you're Chile, Chile is very, very 200 narrow, kilometers very narrow, wide, so very you could cover the distance yes, in four narrow. hours, yes, four to five hours. And this is a picture of Santiago, yeah? This, you know, that is our ETSA. <laughs> <laughs> it does look sometime, crowded. Sometimes, sometimes not so crowded, <laughs> not so crowded, but it's one of our, right. our national ETSA. <laughs> yeah. this, is a ri this is our Pasay River, the name is Mapocho, you know, Mapocho. This is your Pasig River? Pasig River. This Pasig. is this. Mm. This is a river that runs through Santiago? Yes, okay. so come from the mountains and mm -hmm. go to the uh, Pacific Sea. Mm -hmm. That is the highest uh, tower of Latin America. Yeah, uh, it's, is it higher Santiago. than the Empire State? No. Not higher no. than the Empire On Latin America only. Uh. Yeah. It's around 80, 80 floors. Floors, 80 floors, okay. That is a view of the main uh, port close to Santiago, 100 kilometers from Santiago. What's the name of that? Valparaíso. Mm -hmm. Valparaíso, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And is clo Valparaiso is the port and Viña del Mar, Viña del Mar, Viña del Mar, Viña that's Viña, are very close. To what is Viña del Mar? Is it where they is produce the, the wine? Is, is the no, Viña del Mar is the residential part, uh, neighborhood of the port. Right. Yeah? Your, ch your wine is mostly from grapes from Chile or they're, Chile. Different, they're all uh, Chile. Chilean grapes? From the central part of the country, mm. the central. And you know, this is a, a, a view of a, a Eastern Island with yeah. the Moais, this very famous and very, very mysterious Moais. Yeah. Nobody knows the origin, origin what do you mean of this Moais. Mysterious noise? Noise? M mysterio, misterioso. Mis uh, noise? Very, very. No, uh, mystery, very yes, I understand. Mystery. Huh? Yeah. You know, because uh, there, is, there are theories about yeah. who Rapper. built this. Oh, this, this, this. Who built. Because in the island there are not so big rocks, rocks yeah. to build this moai, and nobody. Yeah, what is moai? Moai are the statues. The name of the statues are moais. Moais is a what does that Indian mean? In, 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 in native name. And it means a face statue. Yes, rock. face. Face. Because are more Mukha. 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 the face. Huh? Ah, okay, okay. Faces. Yeah. Are ah, like Indian looking, looking to the sea, all looking to the sea. Like the Indian totem poles. Totem. The Red Indians, yes. they have totem poles, totem. they build that. So I, I like totems. So this was built in Chile. Yes. Oh, there's your fa famous wine. This is the famous wine. Yeah. Again, I invite <coughs> here, you are watching this program, to try Chilean wine, our best ambassador. Yeah. And <laughs> any more pictures? No more pictures about that. Ah, this well, one. that is a very typical Chilean family of the land. We name in Spanish Huasos. Huasos. What does it mean? Huasos is a native name yeah. of the people who live in the land. Huasos. These are, these are inhabitants of Chile way before the Spanish influence. 
Well, yes, <coughs> and people that don't live in the city, mm -hmm. but uh, in the light. Eh? All right. Okay. All right. And, and that one? is a native people from before Spanish came to Chile. How old is Chilean civilization? It's like 2000. How far is Aztec away from there? How far is the Aztec uh, go? Well, Chile was discovered in 1541. Mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. But before used to be there the Mapuches, the Mapuches. close to Aztecas and uh, different uh, yeah. other cultures. Right, right, uh, right. Mm? right. But in Chile were Mapuches. Okay. okay, sir. So let's take a few minutes break. Then we'll come back and talk to you about modern day Chile and other uh, possibilities within Philippines and India. Happy. So stay with us. We are still with His Excellency Roberto Mallorca of Chile and we'll come back to him and chat with him some more about Chile and Philippines. Is it called Letratos in Spanish? Uh, good evening. Welcome back to Expat Insights. We are still with uh, His Excellency. And he showed us images of Chile. He showed us about how beautiful the Chile is. And let's talk to him about modern day Chile. Sir, uh, three events have happened in the last one year or so in Chile. One was the big earthquake, 8.8. .8. Yeah, that was a disaster. Then you had, of course, those 33 miners, which you mentioned, that got buried. Not got, they got stuck. And then now you had a volcanic, volcanic eruption, no? So can you just give us what is the situation there in terms of the volcanic eruption which is happening currently? What is happening and uh, what is the Chilean government doing about it? Well, in our story, we have always submit to challenges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In our Challenges. lifetime, you mean? In yeah. our yeah. lifetime. Always. This is for always. Chilians always. or this always. is for always. the bo uh, total always. mundo? Always. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 the whole the mundo. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say we are, in some aspect, accustomed to face this kind of problems. Yeah. Yeah. Always. <coughs> always. And, mm, this is, this yeah. is, you're talking of always. humanity. Yes. You're talking yeah. of all. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, well, I, 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 we're still trying to rebuild uh, yeah. all the houses, hospitals, schools uh, mm -hmm. destroyed last mm -hmm. year for this very... Uh, the 8.8 .8 earthquake. Uh, yeah, and yeah. With, an, uh, with a tsunami also. Uh, with yeah, tsunami, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, well, the ratio of the miners, mm, yeah. I, I would say, was very special because finally we could uh, that was rescue an amazing the miners. Feat. That yeah? is an amazing feat. Um, no? When the miners uh, disappear, 700 meters, sometimes yeah. people say, oh, no way to rescue them. But mm. the president, Piñera, told we are going to find them alive yeah. or dead, but what to find. Yeah. It was possible. Huh? Yeah. Uh, they were 17 days disappear. Nothing yeah. about them. Huh? And Who, sometimes. Which, what was the core team that did it? Was it the army? Was it the. I could say was it was uh, people uh, from US? was uh, people from Chile, from USA, from Australia. It was a joint effort. International people looking at uh, all the community. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. And was really nice. Yeah. And well, by the way, I would like to tell you that because the rescue was exactly last year when we celebrate the National Day and we lunch with UST and U University of the Philippines. National Day of Chile, yes. which is September. September. Yeah. This, the same uh, days uh, regarding the rescue of the miners. Right. And together with University of the Philippines and UST, yeah. when we celebrate the National mm. Day, we launch yeah. mm. a poetry contest. For the miners. For the miners. For the miners. And we okay. receive more than 100 poems of from Filipino Filipinos. students. From Filipinos. Hmm? Is this going to be published? Or we're, is it we're going to publish with University of Philippines and UST these poems, uh, mm -hmm. honoring the miners. Wow, that's fantastic. Thank you again to Filipinas. To those hundred people who wrote the poems. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so now, uh, how many Filipinos, are there any Filipinos in Chile? How many Chileans in Philippines? What is the situation in terms of people? Not, how many Chileans not, in... Not so many. Here in, in Philippines, in yeah. the consulate, we yeah. have registered 42. Only 42. Only 42. And yeah. in Chile, as I know, there are around 200 Filipinos. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to strengthen the relationships. Mm. Last April, we set up for the first time a Filipino Chilean Business Council in PCCI. Filipino Ch PCBC with PCCI, yeah. yeah. And the chairman is Mr. Alfonso C. Who is, he, is who he is a Filipino? Filipino. Yeah. He exports fishing nets to Chile. 
from the Philippines. From the, if these are made nice. in Philippines or these are made in China? No, here. here made Philippines, in Philippines, fishing nets, okay. And we have very nice officers in this council. Yeah. People from Philippine Airlines. Yeah. Uh, people from the Chamber of Mines, like uh, the President, uh, Philip Romaldes. Yes. Uh, from the Philippine Airlines, Timmy, <coughs> Timmy Tan, son of Mr. Lucio, Lucio Tan. Mm -hmm. uh, people from EDC, from Lopez Group, EDC, the, 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 president, the, presi the president of EDC, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Richard Tantoco. Yeah. People who export, import Chilean wine, mm -hmm. like our friend uh, uh, Ra 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 Ralph, Ralph Joseph, Ralph, Ralph, Ralph Wines. Yeah. 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 So a very nice council yeah. uh, in order to try to strengthen this relationship. Seems like you have strong mm? people behind you. These are powerful shakers and movers of the community. You know? yes. What is the current uh, amount of bilateral trade between the Phil uh, Philippines and Chile? Around 300 million dollars. 300 million dollars. That's quite a lot. Yes. That's yes. Not, not bad. Because not too bad. Uh, I, I used to be not the chairman yes, of the Philippines so India mm. Business Council yes. about eight years ago, and we were only at 150 million dollars eight yes. years ago. Today we are around yes, a billion. No. We are hitting a billion. Yes. But if you're starting off yes. with 300 it's million, so and that's pretty yes. good. Yes. Yes. Pretty so good. with the efforts that the you are doing, potentially this very very big. Huh? Mm -hmm. So what activities is the embassy and the commercial section of the embassy taking up here in the Philippines to well, promote the culture and the business? You know. Uh, the business looking for competi competitive products that we can interchange. Yeah? Right. For yeah. instance, uh, we export as Chilean more than 3,000 products, but you, we have the competence of China. Yes. You know? yeah. So we are looking not to export perhaps 3,000, perhaps 10, 15 items. But items, items. But From Chile to Philippines, yes. besides the wine. Yes. Besides and the conversely. Wine. Mm -hmm. We are in the work now to identify mm -hmm. uh, quality and prices, mm -hmm. yeah? conversely, from mm -hmm. Filipina to Chile and Chile to Filipinas. Yeah. And be, but we are, regarding your question, also working in cultural activities, right. especially with universities. Mm -hmm. yeah? Last year, uh, the we, poem writing yes, contest. we celebrated yeah. our national day, yeah. 200 years of independence, not in the traditional way, mm -hmm. yeah? a very nice Mm -hmm. celebration in very nice hotel, but mm -hmm. in UST. Mm -hmm. In UST with the Thanksgiving ecumenical mass, mm -hmm. Christian, Islamic and Jewish. Yes, sir. And at the same time, uh, as I told, we launched this poetry contest. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Now, in September, and I would like to invite all of you, we are going to celebrate the National Day in the University what of Asia. What exact date is the National Day? We are looking for the day. Where because but generally the day, what is the, the day is the 18th right, of right. September, and because the 18th is Saturday, Sunday, yeah, yeah, uh, we are going to look for a day during the week. Huh? And you're doing this in partnership with the University of Asia and Pacific. Yes, yes, because mm -hmm. the University of Asia and Pacific has been very supportive also, and we are going to launch a new contest. Is there is the, mm -hmm. oh, you're going to la launch another poetry contest? No poetry and essay. And essay contest. Essay. Yeah. And we are looking exactly for the subject team, but the, the goal, the yeah. goal, yeah. Yeah, the goal mm, yeah. is to try to awake the positive feelings in the young Filipinos. Uh, positive, oh. positive, or to inspire, to inspire positive mm, feelings in the younger in the generation young of the Filipinos. Mm. Is 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 the Chilean youth in any way going to participate, or just Filipinos only? No. Are you going to do it simultaneously here. in Chile? Or well. Perhaps we are trying, but now, mm -hmm. especially here in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and you know why? Because why positive? Uh, why positive? Feelings? Yeah. Because uh, uh, here people are very positive. Correct. And the idea is to maintain, to sustain, to keep, and to sustain, yeah. capture that kind positivity, of positive feelings, mm. because the experience, and we have suffered in some aspects, uh, that the economic progress is driven have, by have, has a very complicated cost that people f lo lose lose morale lose, lose the feelings lose morale humanity yeah. lose lose U motivation humanity. lose motivation to be friendly to have more fraternity solidarity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like the crisis of 2007 and 2008 in the USA right? even though there's a financial crisis there's a lot of psychological impact psychological. so you want to sustain the strength that is existing in the Philippines. 
because here you have a very important moral reserves, mm -hmm. moral feelings. So do you want to share this thing? Would you like to make that a declaration to the viewers, the one that you're saying, that there is moral strength and there is an, an innate positivity in the Filipino? Would you like to make an announcement to that directly to the camera? No. You, can, you can address that. Okay. Uh, people of Filipina, young people especially, students, universities. Youth, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, we invite a Chilean embassy together with some universities like UST, yeah. UP, yeah. University of yeah. National Pacific <coughs> to participate in the contest we are going to launch. Yeah. Yeah? To try to sustain mm -hmm. your best positive feeling you have as one of the countries in the world with yeah. a moral reserves. That's very important here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. We invite to you hmm, to yeah. collaborate, to think, to elaborate, to write essay. How would it be possible to sustain the moral, hmm, the feelings, the positive sentiment, sense you have of the life here in the Philippines? Fantastic. Fantastic. The essence of this show is what you are talking about right now, sir. Thank you very much. So thank, thank you very you. much for being on the show. The show comes to an end. Thank you, Rayu. Yeah, uh, uh, it's my pleasure. I don't know how you say my pleasure in Spanish. Mi placer. Mi placer. So it's mi placer. I thank you very much for being on the show. And I do hope the business and social relationship between Philippines and Chile grow because the countries have a lot of similarities and yes. then maybe our trade flourishes. Appreciate. And if you have any website to announce it, please announce it. Otherwise, we'll make your announcement here on September 18. And I will be a part of that September 18 uh, event in University of Asia Pacific. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, Rachu, thank you for all the people here watching this TV. And thank you to this channel. Hmm? Muchas gracias. Much. Bienvenido. Appreciate Gracias. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that was Senor Mayorga of the um, Chile of the Chilean embassy, and he was talking about positive feelings and Filipinos. So, we'll see you next week. This is Expat Insights. I'm your host, Raju Mandian. Good night and Mabuhai. Gracias, sir. Thank you so it's much. 4,000 kilometers long, so it's a huge country compared to our country. Lungo, lungo, lungo. Possiamo andare a spiaggia, possiamo andare a sciare. On the one side, you've got the Andes, and the other side, the ocean. Tiene mar, tiene montagna, tiene... Lakes and rivers and everything. Is... The desert, the sud. The weather, such a variant.